Today I'm shooting a closet tour. This was definitely one of my more recommended, requested, not recommended, one of my more requested videos. First of all, living in New York City, you're just kind of expected to know that you're gonna have a small closet. Uh, this is actually an upgrade from my last apartment. My last apartment was like, I had this much room. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I organize my closet, the rest of my clothes, my jewelry, and some cool tips along the way that hopefully give you some inspiration. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. These are my two closets right here. Well, not my two closets, but these are the two closets that I'm working with. Go ahead and get started with door number one. Inside of my door right here, I keep my purses that I am grabbing the most. So. I've been going to the pool almost every weekend because it is summer. So I keep my pool bag and like my shopper tote right here. Keep a quick little grocery bag here. So if I need to run to the grocery store, um, I can use this. And then my black tote stays here because it is something that I grab a lot as well. I like to keep one hook here just to keep things that I've been grabbing a lot lately. Easy access, ready to go. In this little tiny section are my dresses and I like to section them off by sleeve length and then by color. I like to do sleeveless at the beginning because it is summer so I'm grabbing more sleeveless things than I am long sleeved. I like to do this because if I have a sleeveless dress that gets stuck between two long sleeves, chances are I'll probably overlook it most of the time. All of my sleeveless dresses right here ready to go and then I do my short sleeved and then my long sleeved. And then here in the corner is where I keep my overalls, my comfy cardigan sweaters, my sweatsuits, just things that I like to grab, um, kind of like when I wake up in the morning or after I shower at night, just something comfortable to lounge in. And on this side, I have all of my, um, my pants, pretty much everything minus my jeans. In the front, my skirts, and then it goes to joggers, flares, um, some more joggers, and then my leather stuff is in the back because I'm not grabbing that during the summer. Um, so when it's winter time, I'll obviously put like my leather stuff in the front. I like to hang them on these four tiered hangers. I feel like it just really keeps everything in order. That way when I'm looking from the side, I can see exactly what is on the hanger. I like to double up on these hangers. So if I've got two denim skirts, I will probably hang both of them on the same hanger. That way if I know I'm looking for a denim skirt, I can see both of them very easily right there together. This door right here has all of my um, my like flats and my slides. It'll have some booties just because these are my summer booties that I will grab and go when I'm wearing denim shorts. So I like to keep them visible and easy to go right here. Another tip I have for you is definitely some sort of over the door shoe hanger. In my last closet, all of my shoes were kind of thrown in the floor and it's just really, really easy to miss. So even if you only have room for one, take the pair of shoes, the pairs of shoes that you wear the most and put them all right here. And it's so much easier to grab. Right, moving on to the shelves. Here on this top shelf, I've just got some uh, taller booties that I'm grabbing more often this summer because they really stick out in this thing. These are just much easier to grab and go right here on this little top shelf. All of my bags are gonna be up here on this middle shelf. Um, I kind of organize them to, again, easy access all the bags that I'm grabbing right now at the moment, I put in the front. So obviously this straw bag I'm grabbing a lot this summer. So it is ready for me to go right here. And actually, I can probably put this here because I do grab this multiple times a week. I've got like my gold Balenciaga, my denim backpack, all of my browns and my reds ready to go right here. And then all of my um, like suede and more wintry bags are going to be in the back as well as my nighttime clutches that I don't need so much. This middle shelf right here is definitely one of my favorite things in my closet. It has got all of my jewelry. So I got this thing right here from Urban Outfitters and it holds some earrings, some necklaces, um, all of my bracelets are in the bottom. It's just really easy to grab and it's really easy to see because it's so tall. And I love these little acrylic cases. Uh, you can get these on Amazon. Another great Amazon purchase. I like to put 
things that get lost easily. So like um, smaller earrings, maybe things that I don't wear quite as often but still want to be able to have access to whenever I need it. And this thing is from Bed Bath & Beyond and it just holds kind of necklaces that I'm wearing a lot right now. Again, super easy, in my vision, ready to go whenever I need it. It's a little stud holder that I also got from Urban Outfitters and I um, have very much on it right now, but this is really convenient for when I'm needing something super quick. I can see everything really easily. I have my little bowls and these have um, some ear jackets that don't go um, on the earring holder and then as well as some rings and bracelets that I'm grabbing more so than my other stuff got my perfume holder this one is this is from Target I believe I'll link everything below so you guys can see but um this holds all of my perfume I used to store my perfume in the bathroom but then I read somewhere that it needs to stay room temp or else it loses its scent it loses it loses its uh, potency don't want that this perfume is expensive so I keep all my perfume right here I keep Ryan's cologne kind of in the back somehow it keeps ending up right there but yeah also on the shelf I have my microphone that L'Oreal sent me during fashion week last year I just thought it was really cute and uh, so I keep it in there also keep my YouTube 100,000 subscriber play button this is one of my most favorite things I own I do keep blister guards because I usually keep them in my uh, medicine drawer my medicine cabinet in the other closet but I always forget to grab them, so whenever I'm picking out shoes, this is a good reminder to pack extra in my purse just in case I need them. So, recommend keeping these in plain sight, like actually with your shoes so you can, don't forget these. I know we've all been there where we're out walking and you're like, oh, I need band-aid. And on this shelf is all of my denim. Um, again, all of the denim that I'm wearing right now is going to be in the front and then in the back is more of like my winter denim. You know, I go through phases where I'm wearing more denim than others, so I'll definitely rotate my denim out to kind of what I'm liking right now. This bottom shelf, I have all of my denim shorts stacked up. Um, I usually try to keep them color-coded, but it's just really hard to keep that up. So um, they're all folded right here, easy for me to see. Got my two drawers. My top drawer has all of my belts in it. These clear bends are so easy from Bed Bath & Beyond. I just went and I bought like 10 of them and I still have some extra ones but they're so nice to have in case you need to create a new drawer if you start to accumulate a lot of one certain thing they're so easy to have. The bottom drawer is all of my scarves and like my turbans and my hair ties more so like those types of accessories. Then on the very bottom shelf the family sock bin plus booby pad bin. These are all of my and Ryan's socks. Yes, we share socks and have a family sock bin, but um, obviously like some like these are my comfy socks, but you know, we for the most part share like ankle socks and stuff like that. And you know, it's easy to tell whose is whose. So we thought we would save space by creating a family sock bin. So here it is. Highly recommend it. Underneath my dresses at the very bottom, I have my bin of basic tees so instead of hanging them up I have them all folded color-coded in a bin keep my favorite ones hanging but for the most part I keep the rest of them folded because I have like six or seven like white tees black tees gray tees and they all serve a purpose but for the most part I keep my basic my favorite ones hanging in the closet up here I have all of my hats so I have my fedoras are all stacked in one stack and then my baseball caps are stacked right beside it I have my winter ones on the bottom obviously you know you want to keep your summer ones that you're grabbing more of on the very top and then your felt wool ones on the bottom now on to closet number two this is Ryan's side of the closet um, and I actually grabbed this one from Amazon as well it's more of like an extra large size for men's shoes so if you guys um, want to redo your closet and you know your husband or boyfriend needs something like this this does come in extra large so just an FYI it's super helpful close this so we don't get distracted first I will start out with this thing right here this shoe rack is from Amazon and it has been such a lifesaver it holds twice as many pairs of shoes as the one with the slots in it so I love this just a tip if you are planning on ordering it um, my door is two inches thick and it only comes with 
one and a half inch brackets so I actually had to reach out to the company and they send you for free like extra long ones so definitely do that if you do order this and measure your door first I don't really organize my shoes in a certain way just whatever makes the most sense room wise not so much like color coding wise because obviously I don't need to color code my shoes because I can clearly see them so that's really not um that important to me moving on to <laughs> moving on to the clothes um so up here i've got a random pair of heels uh i don't know why these are here to put my gym shoes up here um because i do grab them every day so it's just easy for me to grab they're in their own place ready to go as for my clothes i have them separated um the top shelf is going to be all my printed tops and then the bottom shelf are my basics and my outerwear my uh like summer outerwear it's so hard to keep printed tops in it color coded because there's colors everywhere it goes into sleeveless and short sleeved again like I said with the dresses if I put a sleeveless top in between two long sleeves chances are it'll kind of get eaten and I won't see it really really recommend doing it by sleeve then doing it by color uh, a lot of people color really doesn't even I'm so OCD so it's more of like a visual thing for me to keep it color coded I don't think it's necessary unless you're a crazy person like me then it makes you look so happy. <laughs> it's the little things, you know? Bottom shelf, I have all of my like button downs, my basic whites, my solids. Um, and I really don't have, I have too many white solids. Obviously, Dara was making fun of me so hard and I was like, everything serves its purpose, okay? They all serve a purpose, they're all different. I like to keep my outerwear on one side. I put it on the right side just in case I need to grab something to throw over my outfit and then I've got my basics my t-shirts also color-coded also by sleeve before we move on to the next segment I just wanted to show you guys a little something that Ryan does which is really helpful if he buys anything new he keeps it in the front of his closet sometimes if you buy something new you can forget that it's there so you want to make sure that you're wearing your new stuff and you're enjoying it before you know you put it away and you're like oh my god I totally forgot I bought that I do that all the time. I did it with the shirt. A Ryan tip, put your new shit in the front of your closet. Because I don't have a dresser to put my clothes, I will show you where I store my underwear, my PJs, and all that good stuff. All of that stuff goes in these bins underneath my bed. Where I need it, I just slide it out. This is where I keep all of my bras. So I'll fold up like my padded bras right here. And then all of my lace bras are folded right here. Obviously, I only wear these lace bralettes, so that's what I have way more of. Same thing with all of my workout pants. I like to roll them up and put them in this bin. I have a hall closet in the front of the apartment that, and I have a storage unit that I keep off-season clothes in. So you definitely want to make sure that you're not keeping your sweaters and coats with your tank tops and your bathing suit. You want to keep your seasons separate. Something that I do recommend if this video inspires you to do a complete wardrobe clean out. Um, what I like to do, I do this once a year. Sometimes if things are getting crazy, I will do it twice a year uh, with each season. But I recommend taking every single thing out of your closet. This is like a Saturday project. You have to put it in your Google Calendar. Re-put it back in and you will be it's like you have a whole new wardrobe. Donate things that you do not wear. A little tip that I learned is if you're on the fence about it, put it all in a duffel bag and then a month later revisit it and if you didn't miss it, then get rid of it. If you missed it, then keep it. I was looking at some other closet tours on YouTube and everyone had these extravagant, huge, like glamorous closet and I was like, oh my gosh, here's me with my tiny little closet that has like three racks. You could have the biggest closet in the world and still be disorganized. I think no matter what size your closet is, if you have a system and you have an organization, um, it's just as good as having a giant closet. So don't worry about size. In this case, size does not matter. I do truly believe that having an organized closet, whether you do it my way or your own way, really plays a part, really plays a part in your personal style and the way you get ready in the morning. So that is all I have for you for my closet tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you love this video. I hope you got some good tips. I will link everything I showed you, most of the stuff on Amazon, Urban, all that good stuff. I will link it below. And let me know in the comments what your closet tips are. I'm always like moving things around and reorganizing. So let me know. I will see you guys in my next video.
Bye. So the last few vlogs we've been starting out Saturday night dinner making, so that why why break it now? Yes. Ryan's doing lunges in the living room. Don't laugh at him. <laughs>